labeled line principle. So this is uh, when I studied this for the first time 25 years ago, it tickled me. This concept made me so happy and I was amazed. The labeled line principle is what? That is this principle. Look, let's say we once again make a Pacinian corpuscle. So get ready to, <laughs> to talk about Pacinian corpuscles all the day today. And let me take a blue color. And I'm going to make a nerve ending from here. So let's say this is the nerve. This is a nerve. And this, this one is the receptor. Now, please remember, as long as we are talking about the receptors in our body, in the nervous system, these receptors, every receptor always has one attached nerve or one nerve can have multiple receptors on it. So for example, here, there is one more Pacinian corpuscle. There is one more here that is one more Pacinian corpuscle, but, but you will never see a nerve, one nerve on one end of that is Pacinian corpuscle. On the other end is a rod. On the third end is a cone. On the fourth end is a taste bud. That will not happen. One kind of nerve or one nerve will only take one type of sensation. So I cannot say that a nerve that comes in here, let's say in my hand, and it is here, all of a sudden when it branches, every branch has a different kind of receptor on it. That's not going to happen. If a nerve comes in and branches, and let's say the branch has a senior corpuscle, then all the branches are going to have the senior corpuscles. Imagine this like a tree. One type of tree would have leaves that are all of the same type. You can't have a pine tree leaf on an oak tree type. Does this make sense? So one nerve is connected to one category of receptors. This is called labeled line. You can say that this line, this nerve is for pressure. Or this nerve is carrying temperature sensation because the ends, the receptors there attached to the end of the nerve are for temperature. So you can pick up that nerve, you can isolate that nerve and say it is for temperature. And nobody's going to come in, no scientist is going to come in and say, you know what, this temperature nerve is also carrying pressure. That will not happen. You can label that. Just like in anatomy, you label different structures. You can label a nerve to say this is a labeled line. This is a line for temperature. This is a line for pressure. This is a line for X, uh, vibration and so on. Does this make sense? So two very important concepts have come our way. One is one type of receptor responds to one modality. If it is pressure, then it is going to respond to pressure. If it is temperature receptor, then it is going to only respond to temperature. And we'll discuss discuss in a few seconds why, but one kind of receptor only responds to one kind of modality. Second, now the nerve attached to the receptor can only carry only that type of sensation. Remember this, nerves actually don't carry sensations. Nerve only carry action potentials. But one nerve cannot be attached to various categories of receptors. One nerve would always have same category of receptors. For example, let's say here is another nerve. And let's say the ends of this nerve are expanded discs, like Merkel's disc or Ruffini's corpuscles. So let's say these are Merkel's. Merkel's discs. If that is the case, then all of them are Merkel's disc. You cannot say that, you know what, Dr. Mubin, all of these were Merkel and I had a Pacinian corpuscle attached here as well to this nerve. That is not going to happen. So because that's not going to happen, you can say that this nerve, you can label it. This nerve is for Merkel's corpuscles. Merkel's corpuscles are for touch, high velocity kind of touch, uh, or I think low velocity touch. So these are touch. 
and that's about it. You cannot say this, this nerve, this specific nerve is also carrying region. That's not going to happen. Okay, so this much clear. This is called labeled line principle. So one kind of receptor, one kind of nerve. Moving forward, let's go to the next concept. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, then do unlike. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please share this channel with others as well.